The bad guy blew up in a shower of sparks. Money rained from the ceiling, and our heroes lived rich and happy for the rest of their lives. What was the beginning of the story, you ask? Oh, all right. Happy Halloween, YouTube. Let's talk about those Warsong Gulch games you'll be getting yourselves into while stuffing your faces full of trick-or-treat candy. So, as usual, I'm going to talk about the comp of the team I ran this BG with that's going to be featured with at the end of the video. Uh, except, instead of just reading the slide, I figure you can see that yourselves. Uh, instead, I'm going to give you some pros and cons of the comp itself and some general thoughts. Uh, first off, a pro of this comp is that we had pretty decent burst with the, the Boomkins dropping full moons here and there on uh, targets. Boomkins I've been really impressed with this season so far and if I can find them <laughs> then I, I really enjoy picking them up for my team. You don't want like a full team full of them but um, one or two at least uh, can really bring some good damage and CC to your comp. Another pro is just having the Mistweaver monks in general. You see a lot of teams these days running with two or even three Mistweaver monks and part of that is just they're hard to pin down. Healers at the beginning of any X-Pack are generally um, a little weak compared to the outgoing DPS and then towards the end of an X-Pack that gets balanced out a little bit more just historically speaking. Uh, and currently monks with their uh, agility and also some of their mechanics that contradict things like rock comps are pretty strong picks despite their outgoing heals. Um, they just last longer. Uh, another pro is having a guardian tank. Uh, you saw in my Deep Wing Gorge video I ran with the guardian tank for the first time this season and I really enjoyed that experience so we brought him along again for Warsong Gulch and again it panned out pretty well. I think, optimally, if you're going to run a Guardian tank, a uh, Guardian uh, Druid for your tank, it's great if they have like a Boomkin off spec because not all maps do you want a tank, but some you really do. A uh, con of our comp here, and it wasn't huge, I don't think it got in the way too much, but Cyclones from all the Druids and fears uh, DR together and so that's kind of hurting your CC a little bit though I didn't like, looking through the footage I didn't see it get in the way too much just as a side note and you'll see this once we uh, open up the footage of the game our team's comp was nearly identical to our enemy team's comp uh, the main differences are that we took a Guardian Druid for our tank. They took a Vengeful Demon Hunter instead. Uh, rather than taking double Boomkin as we did, they took one Boomkin and they took uh, two DKs. The opener for Warsong Gulch can be kind of tricky. As a strat caller, it's the sort of opener that <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that I could call, but ultimately Warsong Gulch is a very team fight heavy game and while there's a lot I can say for strat, a lot is going to come down to split second mid team fight decisions. And so you do kind of, as a strat caller, feel a little helpless uh, despite being able to say so much up front. So I just want to list off a few of the questions that you want to ask yourself. Decisions to be made in your opener for the strat. First off, you want to ask yourself, do I want to sit somebody on defense? If you do that, you're weakening your team fight. You might end up going out and just getting wiped. Having somebody sit on defense on the flag to uh, hopefully jump the, the enemy FC can either work out or if they're sitting in there and their whole team goes in, two people versus an entire RBG team doesn't pan out well. Uh, no matter how much CC they have, no, you know, it's just not good odds. So it is sort of a gamble doing that. Second question you want to ask yourself is, how many people do you want to send in to pick up the flag? Obviously you're going to have your own FC, but do you need to send somebody else in? And who is that going to be? Is it a healer? Is it a DPS? Uh, what? Th this question is really a, a function of what comp are they running? 
you want to look at their comp and ask yourself, if I were running that comp, would I sit anyone on defense myself? If the answer is yes, then you want to ask yourself, can my FC outwit that defense? Or is he going to have a hard time getting out with the flag? And there are some options that you can uh, consider when doing that. Uh, classes that have portals like warlocks and monks have generally an easier way of extracting flags. And maybe it's just to pick up the flag, portal, and then do a handoff. Um, that's an option. But then you're taking them out of the mid-team fight as well. Everything that you pull away from the team fight weakens your team uh, in that fight. And it's always, it, sometimes it can pan out really well and sometimes it's a gamble. The next thing you want to ask yourself is, are you going to escort or clash in the middle? Uh, an escort means you're going to take your team fight and have them follow the flag carrier all the way in. The option is to go and meet them in middle and start your team fight and kind of leave your flag carrier up to his own devices in hopes that maybe you can get them on a split res, maybe you can push some advantage in mid, maybe you can get into a position where you can turn around and maybe gank the EFC on its way out of your base. Uh, that's sort of a toss up and some teams like to play it very uh, safe, playing uh, full escort and waiting for stacks, uh, very methodical. Others like the team fight. Lastly, just as a, a nitpick detail that you can call out, you need to decide what are you going to do about the buffs on your side of the map. The Zerker buff and the boots, particularly. You don't want to leave the boots out just because that's just a free speed boost for the EFC coming in or getting out. So assign somebody pick, to pick those out on their way out the door uh, just to take that advantage away. And then also the Zerker buff. You want to pick who's going to get that so that you don't have people fighting over it and then just being disorganized and too spread out for a clash in middle. The maintenance is fairly different from the strategy that you would use for maintaining a lead on a resources type map like Rathi Basin or Gilneas. You're pretty much always in maintenance. Well, after the opener, you're always in maintenance or you're always in a reset because you are always trying to basically capture their flag and kill their flag carrier. Those are the two objectives pretty much. Um, so you always have to balance between do you hold back more and protect your flag and wait for stacks, maybe send in a, a stealthy squad to go and kill their flag? Do you try and have a really good team fight in mid and get a wipe uh, on their team? and then make a quick a sort of mass dispersion. <laughs> send, send your flag carrier running for the cap while your whole team goes to uh, blow up the EFC and a healer that's maybe left over from the team fight. That is a constant question in not only your mind, but everybody's mind. Knowing when to peel out, the timing of that is crucial for winning the game. Uh, another question you want to ask yourself, once you've gotten a cap, and you're ahead. Remember, uh, getting uh, in a tie in this game, whoever capped last will win. So if you're in a position to win, towards the end of the game, you might ask yourselves, should we turtle, and that is basically hole up in our base with the flag on defense, for the rest of the game, or continue to carry on our maintenance strategy? Uh, if you're gonna turtle, Pay attention to how much time you gotta do it for, because the longer you have to turtle for, the more vulnerable your flag carrier gets. With more stacks, they eventually get to a point where a DPS comes in and looks in their direction and they die. So that is a risky move in some cases, depending on how much long, you, how much time you gotta last for. Uh, one thing you wanna consider throughout this game is how you position your FC. And you'll see in this game that I'm going to show you, RFC uh, kind of wanders a little bit. I don't think his mic is working as well. Uh, and so we are kind of uh, giving him some pointers to uh, as to where to stand throughout the game. Uh, but in general, you want to set it up so that your FC is close enough that he can get to the cap before anyone on their team can. Uh, in the case that you kill the EFC. But also, you don't want him so far that he spreads out your team, pulls a healer away from the team fight, and wipes your team. 
a lot of teams like to do this business where they send the FC and a healer back into their base while they team fight out with just two healers and hope for the best. I haven't seen it work that well. Uh, team fight with only two heals against another team with all three of their heals generally is not good odds. Uh, lastly, you want to position your team fight, and, and this is one of the reasons I picked this particular BG to feature this week. We manage the position of our team fight on the map very well. You hear people calling out, let's go team fight back by our graveyard, pull away from their graveyard, or we're almost there to killing their ESC. We got their healers um, um already, so push in a little bit, but then when it doesn't work out, fall back. At one point we fall to back to their uh, Zerker hut, which is a great option as well, because it puts us up in their face a little bit, but we're not in their graveyard still. Uh, and we both have not the same amount of distance to travel, but it gives us some positioning that uh, gives us an advantage on the map. It covers that ramp area into their base, it covers the tunnel as well, but they're not also just rezzing right where we kill them. Lastly, the reset on this map is tricky because unlike in nodes maps where you can call a reset and have a rendezvous point where everybody goes and meets up and buffs up and goes as a group or several groups from there, you can't do that. Not in this map. Uh, if you get on a solid split res for the entire game, you're gonna have a heck of a time maintaining any kind of a lead or even catching up because it's all a numbers game. The trick to resets are don't trickle anywhere if things are really bad, but try and actually call your reset per se before you need it. As soon as one person, two people die in a team fight, you know your team fight's going downhill. Don't wait for the team fight to spoil completely. Uh, notice the direction it's going and then adjust. Uh, so you'll notice that in this game where that I'm going to show you, as soon as somebody dies or one or, uh, one or two people die in our team fight, if we haven't gotten a few kills on their team as well, if it's not sort of this comparable uh, trade, we start pulling back, you know, towards our graveyard. The closer you are to your graveyard, the faster you're going to be able to pull your team back together again, and uh, the longer it's going to take for their team to regroup. So there's a benefit to that, and so you kind of you can there's sort of a correlation as to where our team is fighting their team on the map to how the team fights going. The closer we are up in their face, the better we feel like we're doing. Uh, and the further back to our graveyard we're, <laughs> we're keeping, the worse the team fight has gone. And so you want to basically call those resets and sort of integrate them into your maintenance strategy so you don't end up having to do a full reset uh, after being wiped. Lastly, the score. I wanted to include this uh, because I've included it on all my other videos and I think it, there's a lot that you can derive from the score itself. You play enough RBGs, you know enough about classes and the maps themselves, and just looking at the score without actually seeing the game, you can uh, derive a number of conclusions or assumptions about the team and how the team fights went, and maybe even what strategies people use. I'm not gonna go through and call those out in this video because it is getting kind of long. I think I'm gonna save that for another video in itself because I think it's a great topic to talk about. To talk about. If you have any other uh, suggestions, questions uh, for future videos, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next week with another video. I think let's uh, do a full on team fight, send the Baron to get the flag. And if the bear needs help, then we'll have a uh, Fist of Mist peel off and do a, a portal trick to get the flag out. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Okay. No, no, I'm not going to them. I can if you want. Uh, you gotta... uh, he can. I didn't want to leave up the um, 
missed the sprint for them. Oh, the bur the burst. Oh yeah, I could I could have did it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you get. Usually, rogues always go there. So that's why I was yeah, that would have been perfect. <laughs> would have loved it. Stasis is not staying. He's in the middle with the rest of them. Are we clashing? Or are we? Okay. We're clashing. We're clashing. We're clashing mid. Opening on stasis, he's overextended. During the rogue. Oh, the, kill the rogue, kill the rogue. Burn that rogue. Oh, fuck, they burned bubble already. Or the mystery bubble. On the DK, DK. DK's on our heels, or way in, way in the back at least. Fearing that monk. Dropping a stun on that group. Is that DK gonna die? Let's swap on the rogue. This hunter is way over. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That boom can have the full moon up if somebody wants to get the next interrupt. I'm just gonna cycle. Cool. On the yeah. rogue, kick flips. He can die, he's overextended too. Now he got full heals again. It's okay, it's okay. Just keep peeling for each other and let's do this. Like, their, their healers are aiming a lot faster than ours. I have their heal. Their death knight's almost dead. He's going to the middle. He got gripped into the middle. Dark Lily. He's almost dead. That's a cheap move they did. Shit, two bags. Leveling two bags. Your your healers are coming out. Just let's just uh we're, stay we're, we're on this boomkin that's overextended. Cool. Yeah, just peel out. We can we can pull back a little bit and regroup. Pull back a little bit and regroup. Because we don't we don't have to go in there right now. So pull pull, pull back and we'll kill the regroup. Like, kill this, kill this, okay, kill this, 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 DK's dead. DK's dead. Kill the rogue. Oh, this lock. Oh my god. Yeah, that was my bad. Kill the lock. Right here. He's in a stun. He can die right here. Dad, rogue, rogue, dead. rogue. Rogue is behind us. He's done. Um, the here in the mystery river. Rogue can die right here. Don't chase. Don't chase. Stay on this side by our graveyard. Oh, sure. yeah. Don't. My, don't. My carrier, you, you shouldn't be in combat. Yeah. Or like not right up in in there like that. That's. Really... I mean, we're, I mean, we're on the opposite. Push up. Push up and kill. Uh, this, uh, Rester Shaman, and we're gonna make a push on these guys. Push up, push up. Push up, push up. 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 I was about to say that too. Awesome. You're doing great. Bobby. That rogue. You're in the rogue? Our, our Blow him up. Beat, uh, killer MP right here. Are you ready to go, Cam? Oh, he got bubble. He got bubble. It's okay, it's okay. The earth. Our, our team, our no, team hey, come on. Kill the lock. Kill the lock. 
Hey, our team push up. Everybody, as a group, push up and let's get on this FC. They can't go through us. Push up, push up. Push up. Please. Drop that lock and then on the FC. Drop the lock and then the FC. Right here. Switch. He's too far. He's way too far. We gotta. Okay, okay. Oh, he's gonna drop right here. Get on right, cap. Get, right, get to cap. Get to cap. Yep. Click, click, click. As soon as he drops. Oh. It's okay. We're, we're okay. We're okay. Holding this weaver. Cap it. Maybe we should back off a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We should peel back. Peel back. Uh, Kill the hunter. Okay. Hunter. Chase that hunter. Put him. That's a bubble. He's, he's turtle. 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 Right, I'm on the. I'm on the boot. Regroup. Let's drop no, him. Locke and Hunter are both way overextended. Hunter's like way behind Everest. Everyone. Oh, yes. Hunter wants it. Drop him. The rogue is way out. Yeah, we've healing down. We've been healing down. Healing down. Bring back up. Yeah, we need to run. We need to run. You know, it gets her graveyard, probably, right? Yeah, I'm gonna move. One of the healers yeah. is in, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah escort, sure. escort our flag back to the graveyard. Big damage on the... Yeah. 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 Yeah, bear. Hey, bear. Yeah, get, get behind us. If they want to find us right here, awesome. Like, this is good. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Let's get on this DK. That's really over Yeah, Grab the lock. Lock and die right here. Alright, call it. Brain boomy. Oh yeah, he's way back here. We gotta get He's like all the way in the back part room. Yeah, I have to go down back here. Stasis is in our face. So is this DK. Rogue is way overextended on our flag carrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could. Can... The DK Yoda. Our flag's down. Damn. It's all good, their flag carrier is right here. Can we kill the flag carrier? Yeah, can we, yeah, we... We're really split up. We have people on the other side of the hut. Oh, no, their flag carrier is in. Hey, 
everybody, everybody catch up to this versus Shaman and kill him, please. We need to get momentum in this team fight. Yo, yeah, Mr. Weaver, you're pretty far away. Give me healer down. There's no we need peels or I'm dead too. Two healers down. They have two DKs in a row just killing the healers. I was like fucking almost there. Nope. He's gonna go out top, he's gonna get gripped. He's going out top, he's gonna get gripped. Well, let's just see. Yeah, he is. He's not going tunnel. He's going, uh... Oh, he just went. Oh my gosh, he's dropping. Go for Kill the, him. Uh, go, go for cap. Get on cap. Go. Get on cap. Uh, he, got he got healed. He got healed. He parried my fucking stun. Seems his balance. Dude, we can, we can take this guy down. Let's go. We need to group up though. I'm gonna die. Oh man, they got like 10 yeah, of them. Yeah, we're fucked. It's like. Uh, take our flag to our graveyard. Don't chase. Let's uh, group up. We got, we got like, 7 minutes. We need to make it worth it. Yeah, you guys have to peel the DKs in the road off of the healers. That's what lost us that last fight. Our flag carrier's been attacked. Where is our flag carrier? He's up above. Drop down. Drop down, guys. Drop down. Thank you. I'm on the rogue. You're in the DK on the rogue. Yeah, I'm coming back. I, I, I'm gonna try something. They have a hunter and a healer. Um, there. Like here. Okay. They're gonna turtle. They're turtling. It's a long time to turtle. It's a long way. It is a real long time to turtle. I'll kill their mist weaver and then kill the flag carrier. Let's go sit in the base because they have a, a DK ready to grab the flag. Do they have a DK in there? Yeah, he's been there the whole game. Alright, let's go, let's go. Um, you people that are Wait, 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 wait. Uh, kill, wait for Buffalo. Uh, Almost there. Hey, Are they top? Are they top? No, they're, no, they're bot. They're they're bot. I'm a cyclone and this weaver first thing, and then after yeah, that, just... Buffalo try to lock him down, okay? Alright. Alright, let's do this. Got our turret just got gripped top. away. They're, they're in our base, bad. You're in the DK. Turn, come back towards our. Guys, get on this Miss Weaver back here. You're in the DK. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Oh my gosh. If you're in flag room, CC the monk. Oh, oh kill, kill, kill him. All right. I'm cycling in the uh, rest of the shaman. Crap, I just keep. 
He's gonna die right here. Get on him. Get on cap, get on cap. Good. Get on this Miss Weaver. Try calling the rest of the shaman again. He would have died if everybody got on him. They're all here. Can we drop this boomy? We've got eight stacks. Drop the boomy. Oh, the DK can die. DK can die. Right here. Just get her. Hey, just get her that full moon. Somebody in. Our guy's down. We got four minutes. We got four minutes. Run, Graham. I'm a root. All these guys are here. Fucking Usain Bolt. Give it to me. Hey, let's go kill that guy. Cause they did the flag. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot of peels. Edge her up with the rug right there. You ready? Step top again. He's going ramp. He's going ramp. Let's get over there, Tim man. Everybody, including our phone grade. Everybody. Yeah, he does that jump down in the middle of all of them. That's all he's been doing. I'm trying to cyclone him. Alright, let's... We're getting too spread out. Oh, man. We don't have a healer. I'm the only healer. Yeah, this is... Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna wipe. We got two minutes. Fist of Miss, are you still there? Oh, yeah. Everybody fall back to our base and just sit here. And then we're going. Kill this, um. Kill the rest of the shaman real quick. We have to go. We have to go right now. Everybody just run past the right, You gotta get back in their base. Or run to our base yeah, fast. Everybody just run past everybody here. Oh, yeah, they got me out of stealth for real. Uh, breaking cakes or whatever. Get, get back to our base. Come on. Oh, uh, they're killing them. Run. Well, we haven't killed one of them. Okay, Where is he? Roof? He's going, he's middle. going like middle. Yeah, he's middle. You're in the monk? I'm gonna sit on this monk, kill him. On cap, 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 cap. Monk, come on. Nice! Uh, nice. nice. Yeah. These guys are pissed. You know they're pissed. <laughs> Damn. That was good. They don't have enough time to get across the field. That's good. I'll just grab, I'll just grab the plug. Yeah, don't even take it anywhere. You just it. Can we kill Stasis for good measure? Thank you. Yeah. I'm just sitting. Oh, I, I thought I picked the flag up. <laughs> Oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, yeah. shit, got my Warsong Gulch victory, guys. <laughs> I was, like, running. I was running. 
the tunnel with like one percent and like metamorphosis and just went did like a million damage and healed the full and killed him. <laughs> Skull in the front. Skull to the side. The pirate hats were so not made with headphones in mind.